internet or or looking for a topic that I like or I don't know how how it is. <laughs> okay, okay, no, it's, it's there are different approaches. What about Carlos Gonzalez? What do you think? No, I think that the, this moment the internet is the is the first one. All right, all right, and Cristobal, what about you? You're a. What I think I think that you can get more vocabulary is, is reading, reading like an important topic, the one that you like it. Um, Talk, talk with people always is 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 nice to have a chat and and ask for for the word that you you don't know. Okay. Like a, ask for a bit of explanations. Excellent. So the there, there's a process for in like to get the new language, new vocabulary. So the first thing you you do is like identify, like identify the word. And then comes the comprehension, like you understand. But then comes this uh, is the retention. And then the last step is is called mastery, right? You you master the vocabulary. So I'm gonna teach you two techniques that are gonna help you with the vocabulary and the way students should. Okay. But let's first of all let's talk about some some things you shouldn't do. For example, translate. At, at advanced level, you shouldn't translate. You know, that's, that's not gonna help you. So for example, um, let's look at story and history. What is the meaning or what's the definition of story and what is the definition of history? Who can give me a definition but in English? English, wow. Well, mm. Uh, I think history is about something relative with like uh, the ages. I don't know how to explain that. And history is about like uh, tell something to anyone. Uh, good, history good. history is about the the real to uh, the real. Uh, topics or maybe the history about the human being for example and a story is about the the story is maybe invented or no not necessarily uh, real stories all right okay good just a pronunciation tip for example there's this is a common mistake you know uh, that people confuse these very easy uh, and it is related with movies but many other topics so story look at my mouth okay I want you, you guys to see how I, I I I what I do with the s there's a lot of air I say story right with my mouth closed story, story right so this is story. story practice that and this one is look is his his story, history, history, history. history. Okay, big difference. So in Instagram, we use the Instagram stories. Okay, common mistake sometimes you don't. I'm just gonna tell you, but I'm gonna raise. Sometimes we put like an e before we say a story. You know that's incorrect. Just story. Okay, that's one story. But story exactly. So story. It's, um, yes, it can be something, um, you can say related events. Probably I'm, I can be sometimes too technical with my definitions. Related events that have a narrative, you know? It can be in past, present, or future, real, or not real okay so it's fiction or non-fiction that's that's a story but history most of the times it's of course it's real you know and it's related always yes always most of the time with the past okay so these are past events all right 
So the history of Ecuador, the history of Colombia, the history of Spain, you know, and also it's a subject, you know, like university subject or a topic to study, you know, and as a subject, it would go with uh, caps with, uh, uh, yes, lower case. What's, uh, what's the other one? Forgot. But anyways, that's it. Okay. So this is what you want to do with, with your vocabulary. You want to learn how to not only understand, you know, but comprehension would be like the translation. I, I know. But uh, when you want to get to mastery is to relate it, to have a definition, to have a, a meaning or synonyms. Okay. Because for here, my synonym, the most important is this, a narrative. Okay. That's the synonym of a story. Right. His history it's, uh, it's the same, it, it could be some important facts. There are facts and there are past events, uh, again, in, in, in a real narrative, okay? So that's, that's one, that's one thing, okay? So it's definitions. You want to, to find the meaning of things, okay? And the second thing you wanna do is lists, okay? Now, there's a secret of this this is what you do but the presentation is super important there are two things you can do again the same thing for the definitions or for the list the definitions i like to do honestly flashcards you know what are flashcards i have yeah. spoken about this several times i don't know if cristobal if you use flashcards yeah yeah i use it so for example here this is a, a full box of flashcards depending on the level but for your level, you can put more information. But when is it, when it's a, like a, a beginner student or like A1, A2, newborn, elite, junior, it's a little information, you know? But because now I'm, I'm a pro, you know, because I'm advanced, I can put all the vocabulary that's related with movies on one flashcard, okay? That's one approach, okay? Because what I do when I study, when I study my vocabulary for mastery, I take out my, my flashcards and I, I study them like this. Ah, okay, yes, yes, I remember. But what, ah, yes, what, what, what did this mean? And sometimes I put the meaning at, at the back of the flashcard. So here I have, for example, history, and here I have the definition. So I can play with my memory, okay? You understand that? Yeah, All right. got it. The second exercise you can do, tip. the second exercise it's called it's called the golden list. Have you heard that? Have you heard of the golden list? Yeah. I'll share. Carlos, yeah? No. Uh, Cristobal, you have, have you heard about the golden list? I, I, I heard, I don't know if it means the one that I, I thinking about. Okay. But yeah, probably it's the one that you, you must use it, maybe, or the most, you like it. Yes, especially for advanced. I don't have a notebook. So the other thing is that in the golden list, you, you have a notebook. Here I have the newspaper. Let's imagine it's the notebook. So I go to my vocabulary part and I create a list. It can be, again, 20 words or phrases that, that have like a, a meaning and you want to like learn them, you know, like identify the comprehension, retention, and then the mastery. So the thing is that how you use the list you write the list, but then you're gonna study the list later. You know, you, you study, um, you, you check your list in, like the next week and you try to remember like what, what was this about? What did it mean? The golden list is my favorite for idioms, okay? For complete phrases that have a, a meaning. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna send a video so you guys can understand, but basically those are the two, two preferences, okay? So, with that said, let's look at some of the movie terms and let's look at the definitions, okay? And let's, you can guys take note, but again, I'm, I'll send you this list later, okay? The link. So the first one is script, right? Everybody, you know what's a script? Script is like the, the word by word, the structure of what you say. Soundtrack, what is soundtrack? This is also, yeah, Spanish 
actors, super easy, film, producer, special effects, score. Score is part of, uh, of music too, you know, but in a written form, right? Then you have the cameraman. What else? Let's see. Okay. Editor, very easy. Blooper. You know what's a blooper? That's also used in Spanish. Now, here comes some interesting vocabulary. You want to probably take notes. Box office. Okay. I don't know if you've heard the phrase, we, we were successful at the box office. Okay. So the box office is, uh, it's literally the place where you, you buy the tickets. Okay. All right. So that's the box office. And for example, um, one of the important things when you're looking like for movies. So for example, um, I heard you guys like Fast and Furious. Carlos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loves that movie. <laughs> I don't, I don't want, uh, I don't want Spanish, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Why does it? Axel, uh, sorry, I have a job meeting. I need to leave the, the class. Sorry, right. please. Don't worry, Franco. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, Franco. Bye. All right, cool. So here we have some of the information, but I don't see the, the box office. So normally when you look for the movies, at some part, there is the box office, and that's the amount of money that they collected in the premiere, you know, during the, the time they were in the theaters, okay? And that's why you can see, um, what was the last movie of, of Fast and the Furious? Probably it was, let's see. Eight. Hobbs and, and Shaw. Uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Um, box office. Look, see? So if I Google that, I can see how much money that movie made while they were on, on, in the theaters, okay? Wow, that's a lot of money, man. No, not, not much. I mean, it's just almost a billion. <laughs> not, six, 760 million, all right? But that's the box office. Also, that's another way to talk about this one. So the box office is the place, you know, is the place where you buy the tickets, but also used as how much money they made, right? So let's look at other things that you have um, here. You have um, director, writers, the stars. Of course, look, all these are the stars. And the other way you can call the all the stars or all the actor is the cast okay so if any moment you'd say ah i can't i remember this actor was in this movie but i don't remember the name and you look for the movie and you put the cast right so the same thing i did here but instead of saying box office i would put cast okay hubs and shock cast and then i have all the actors see cool right and then you say, wow, okay, so now that's cast, all right? So let's go back. What else we have here? Storyline, that's why I say it's related. Um, this is like the, the order of events in a paragraph. Also, the, you have uh, another way to call it, is the plot, the plot summary, and it's a little longer, the story, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the plot. What else we have? Um, Let's see. Taglines. Taglines are, it's like in the tag, it's like in social media. It's a way that you can identify this movie. All right. But then you have the genre. This is a, this is for pronunciation, right? Because you can probably confuse it with the Spanish pronunciation, but it's genre, genre, genre. Okay. Genre and, and what about the, the gender? Sorry, what's the question? And gender, gender is agenda. Is, is it, agenda is the same as genre? No. Let me write agenda like this. No, no, like uh, 
I don't know if it, maybe it's the pronunciation, like uh, the gender between like a f female or male. Ah, uh, yes, gender. Is the same. Ah, it's the same. Genre. Ah, cool, cool. I didn't know. Again, for for Cristobal, it, it you have to identify because, for example, my my accent is more American, and probably you've heard more of a of a, a British or English accent. Yeah, yeah, an Australian. <laughs> I learn I learn in, in Sydney English, and they they are talking a bit different than you. Yeah, so that's that's why it can be different. But it's yeah. all part of the experience to have to learn different accents. Okay, what else we have? So here in this case, what's the genre? It's action and it's thriller, right? So those again, if I if I Google, um, and this applies for movie, for music, for any kind of shows. And here you can see, right? List of genres, okay? Absurdist, action, adventure, comedy, crime, uh, drama, fantasy, okay? So this would be like the, the list of genres. All right, let's go back with my, here. What else we have? Hmm. Reviews, you know what reviews are. See, here it is, the box office of this one. Box office, 85 million. Okay, so those are other things that you can look for when you're like just reading or checking a movie. Um, okay, so let's look at the movie idioms, all right? Now, what are what is an idiom? You know what's an idiom, Carlos Cortez? What, sorry? Do you know what is a idiom? Idiom. Yes. Mm, is maybe a phrase? A phrase or a phrase? It's a phrase. Yes, it's a phrase, but it doesn't have a like a literal meaning. You know, it's not literal. It has a different meaning. You know, it's more as an expression. Okay. Expression. All right. So, for example, here you have break a leg that's a common one break a leg means good luck right uh that's that's one right the other here we have some in the title it says the show must go on you know and that you can use it in in like in shows and performances but also in something in, in something you're doing if there's an interruption or some accident and problems to say continue you guys, hey guys, the show must go on. And we say, let's continue. Kickoff. Kickoff comes from, from American football. You guys like the Super Bowl? Yeah. Yes? So the kickoff yes. is that initial. And also for on also in, in soccer, you have the kickoff, okay? Popcorn, uh -huh. movie. Popcorn movie is a good movie, right? Sell out that it was like we have no more tickets. So let's look here. Here's going to be more of an explanation and examples um, that we can look at. We're going to look at some, and then we're going to finish with one activity due to time. But I'll send all the links that I used. I'll send the links in the PDF document, OK? You know that I, I put it here, and then I'll send it to you guys in the WhatsApp, OK? Cool, cool. So here we have movie, idiom, popcorn, movie. Please help me reading this, Cristobal. Which one? Number one. Pop, pop, popcorn, popcorn movie? Yeah. Popcorn movie. Where, where I have to read that one? Uh-huh, all this. Uh, I can't see. Like, if you... Let me turn my... Yeah. A popcorn movie is one that you watch almost purely for entertainment while there are movies that will make you think and give you a new perspective on life, popcorn movies will not, nor are they made for that. Instead, they are made for you to get out of your worldly responsibilities for a moment and just enjoy your life. 
you can eat these types of movie with popcorn and forget about the worries that you have in the world. Yeah. Should I keep going? Yeah. I know that some people will judge for you admitting that you enjoy popcorn movies, but they are really popular for a real reason. Many of the summer blockbusters that you see each year at popcorn movies. But you might be surprised to realize that the ones that do the best are ones that really make you think. All right. So that's a popcorn movie, you know? Popcorn opposite, movie. Good to opposite. know that one. Yes. The opposite of a popcorn movie is a movie that makes you think, you know, that inspires you, right? So let me ask you, and you're going to tell me yes or no. Do you think, like the movie of Will Smith, The Pursuit of Happiness, is a popcorn movie? Ah, completely, 100%. I don't think so. No? No, because that's the opposite. Ah, yeah. I didn't realize that, that one. Okay. Um, but what about the mo movies of Adam Sandler? You know Adam Sandler? For example, this movie. Which one? So for sure, for sure, like I know that the, the names can can be a little tricky, Spanish, English, and, but I'm gonna show you the, this movie. Do you know this movie? Yeah. But it's not uh, for Adam Sandler. No, no, it's not. Robert. It's not Adam, Adam Sandler, but I remember this. <laughs> Okay, so is this a popcorn movie? Yeah, this one it is. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's the name of the movie. I'm just thinking. Like it. Uh, but that's not the name in English. Uh, mm. <laughs> I don't remember. Grown Ups, this one. Grown Ups, yeah. Is this a popcorn movie? Well, I think so. Yes, so this is a popcorn movie. The Hangover is a popcorn movie. But then you have movies that, um, like I said, the pursuit, the pursuit of happiness. So this one, this, this inspires you. This makes you think different, you know? So this is not mm -hmm. a popcorn movie, okay? Okay. All right. So let's go back and let's read one more. And Carlos Gonzalez, can you help me reading? Let me see which one. Uh, the show must go on. Okay. Regardless of all the bad things that happen in the things that go wrong. An event or show that is planned must continue. This is what people mean when they say the show must go on. This is an expression that someone uses when they can to push through advertising. Adversity. Advertising. Adversity. And bad luck and carry out their plan. After once, after times, There are many reasons to quit and give up or postpone something. But making do with the situation is allowing the show to go on. All right. I know that the rain makes all about papers tear easily, easily, said the director. But we can replace those with plastic page. The show must go on. Even when the flower delivery was mixed up, mixed up, and the chef for the reception bell, the last minute 
the bride instead that the show must go on and make the most of the situations anyways. All right. Do you got this one? This was, I think, doesn't need further explanation. Right? The idea is that the show must go on. So, for example, uh, there's a meeting, you know, you can use it also, for example, in, in, in business. Um, you have a meeting or something planned and someone is late. You can't wait for the person. You say, um, we can't wait for, for example, for Franco, the show must go on. Right? That's it? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. Yes. Let's, let's, I want you to read. Let's read the last one. It's going to showstopper 18. A showstopper. Uh, to be a showstopper, so something has to literally stop the show. For one reason or another, good or bad, the show has to be paused for a short time before continuing. Continuing. The reason can be a song in a Broadway musical after which most people applaud, or a horrible snog, a shock or accident that causes everything to stop while the injury in is tended to. I don't know. The, the twist at the end of the play was a complete showstopper. You could hear the guts and the whisper in the audience for a full three minutes after it was revealed. It looked like the broken stage light would be a showstopper until the technician came and fixed it all for us. Okay. Showstopper is something that doesn't like really interrupt. It can interrupt, uh, but sometimes it just makes you like, oh my gosh, like what happened? You know, so it's, it's so amazing or it's so incredible that you're like shocked, okay? Um, it, it, like I said, it can be something that interrupts if it's, uh, I don't know, if it's a performance like a concert or, uh, or at the theater, but movies, movies normally, it doesn't happen. I don't know, if, unless there's like a earthquake or something or a terrorist, I don't know if they would stop a movie, okay? Anyways, that's, that's it for our vocabulary. Like I said, I'm gonna send you this and all the things that I used, all the links, so that you can continue practicing and you can take your notes and, and that and create your, again, the idioms, I would do a golden list and for the other things, I would do the, I would do my, my flashcards, right? I would choose five words, you know, that's what we do. We don't choose a lot of words for, for flashcards. We choose five or six new words, okay? So um, I want you guys just to tell me, because we're a small group, we, we're not gonna make breakout rooms, but tell me what did you learn? What, what were some of the things you learned in this, class okay uh, who wants to start Carlos <laughs> which Carlos there are two <laughs> <laughs> the, one is, the one is the one is fast and furious <laughs> Carlos Gonzalez, you know, what did you learn well uh, in this in this class I learned the uh, this 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 topic of, of idioms um uh, that kind of a popcorn movie and what was the other one the uh, and the show go on uh, that was the the interesting for me that i i it, it was new for me all right cool who's next cristobal uh, I learned the difference between history and history <laughs> that I didn't know. Always I used to confuse both words. And yeah, that is a good one. 
and yeah, some vocabulary relative with movies. All right. Any specific word you learned? Uh, the show must go on. The show must go on. Yes. Okay. Thanks, Cristobal and Carlos. Mm -hmm. What did you? We'll use that one. Well, um, I learned. Uh, first, I learned some words because I I didn't know flashcards. Some I'm. I'm writing, I take a, take a note. note. Um, well, I, ha I know that I have to, to do a golden list. Uh, it, it was for me interesting about um, movies idioms. Uh-huh. Um, Did you have like a favorite one? A favorite idiom? Well, uh, I I didn't I didn't know that a break a break a leg it means good luck. I didn't know. Um, and what well, I I how I how I said uh, I learned some words some some new words. Excellent, great. So like I said, I'm copying this and I'm gonna send this to the group. And, and we're gonna, in, in, in the afternoon, we're gonna probably do a different activities if you wanna join, if, if that's also great. That's the idea. To, now you have, the suggestion would be to prepare these questions or to, to teach them, like to, to share with other people. That's something that really helps, um, helps you learn. You know, when you teach, you learn more, okay? That's the secret that I showed you. That's like the secret of mastery. When you share with someone or you try to explain or you try to teach someone else, you really get confident on what you know. All right? So now you know sharing, that. Sharing is caring. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I enjoyed this. Remember, we're going to grow this. We're going we're gonna to invite more people. There is a, a great surprise in August for everybody. So you don't want to miss out. Okay? Thank you, guys. Have a great Alex. Can, can I ask you something? Yes, Christopher. Which days are you going to have like a classes at this time? It's going to be uh, same days for this week and next week. It's going to be Wednesday and Friday. But Friday, I think it's at 9. I think we put oh. Friday at 9 a.m. Una hora más tarde. Cool, cool. Good to know. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. So, so you guys, because you participated, para que los demás se animen, comenten en el, en el WhatsApp group que su, su opinión de la clase y que animen a otras personas a asistir, ¿ok? Cool, cool. I will do that. All right, Cheers, guys. man. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Take care. See you guys. See you. 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 See you.